we talk to real people and family. I'm Marlon. And my name's Michelle. As you can see, we have a great, great show we're going to have today, a Christmas show going out of this year. Uh, but first, before we get started, I want to thank all of the views, the comments that you have said on our Facebook page. You have, I appreciate you all so much. Just let, let me and my wife know that what we are doing, we're doing the right thing because the comments that we got. So if you like us, you can hit us up on Eminem Film Talk online. You can tune in on Eminem Film Talk online. That's our YouTube channel. Subscribe to our channel. Ring the bell on that so that we can alert you for all new uh, shows that's coming out. When the new year comes, we got some great things that's going to be happening. So you don't want to miss that. Um, right now, we're doing one show a week, but uh, we will be doing more shows a week in the new year because we have some great opportunities for everyone. Yes, we have some great opportunities. I mean, you know, I just want to say that we, we, we have a special thing that we're going to be doing at the end of the show. Mm -hmm. We're going to be talking about some films that we did. Of course, we have exactly. film writers and, mm -hmm. and, and also playwriters and just like that. But how we're going to do this show, as you can see, you know, we got our eggnog, we got our water. You know, I got my got Christmas, Christmas outfit picnic on. right yeah. around here. We got all of this here. So we're going to have fun and y'all going to have fun with us as well. So yes. what we're going to do, we're going to talk about some movies that oh, I know yes. everyone would love. And I know that uh, the person who I'm going to talk about, I know y'all are loving too. So if you're ready to get started, I'm ready to get started too. Yes, so let's get started. Um, I will guess I'll, we'll start out with you, Marlon. Okay, let's start out with me then. That's okay, good. I, I want to talk about somebody who I, I like dearly, yeah, Mr. John Singleton. Them. As you know, John T Singleton was a great pioneer. Yes. He gave a lot of uh, artists that you see, actors that you see now. He brought them out when they was young. And the main one that I want to talk about is Boys in the Hood. Boys in the Hood was a great movie John Singleton did. He came up with it. I mean, uh, stars like Ice Cube, you know, Lawrence Fishburne, Taraji P. Henson, you know, also Tyree. I mean, those actors that you see now, they was groomed by John Singleton. And John, I'm gonna read right here. John Singleton was an American film director. He was a screenwriter. He was a producer and an actor. He acted also. He was, a, he was best known, like I said, for directing Boys in the Hood, from which he was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Director. You hear me? At the age of 24. John Singleton was just 24 years old, and he accomplished yes. all of that. So with that being said... He was a pioneer. Yeah, he mean, was a pioneer. In my eyes. But that being said, for you or those who are out there, you can do the same thing. So right here on MM Film Talk, what we doing, we bring you the news, that you can use and also the peoples that are gonna give you information. So yes. that's that's what I want to John Singleton. I think he was great to me. I know a lot of more peoples too. Oh yeah, and one of my favorite films, uh, movies that John Singleton did was Boys in the Hood. Yes it was. I say and then also Baby Boy. Those are two <laughs> blockbuster hits. They came out of the box with him, and I think he did an awesome job. He gave a lot of the actual actors who are very, uh, I mean, we see them all the time now on all uh, different opportunities. He gave, he gave those actors the opportunity they needed yes, he to kickstart their career. They were very young, very talented. Very talented. And that's what I see happening with a lot of independent film writers. Uh, we have a lot of independent film writers we want to feature here on the show. Yes. So also, I wanted to say while we're talking, Let's talk. um, yes. I want you to actually, if you're interested and in actually, if you have a film, an independent film, and you're interested in us featuring it on uh, m, m Film Talk, please email us at m, &M Film Talk at gmail.com. And if you do that, we will respond to you and we will tell you the things that we'll need in order to for you to qualify to, to be on the show. Yeah. So thank uh, that's that's gonna be an awesome opportunity. I think that will that's something good that we'll be I, doing. I think it'll be a great opportunity for Memphis. Yes. I mean the show has been doing very well. Mm -hmm. We've been getting, like I said, great reviews. Uh, and it's just an opportunity, I think that Memphis need anyway. Memphis mm -hmm. needs yeah. somewhere mm -hmm. where it can be a platform for those who are in the independent film that they don't they don't have. 
Yes. You know, and mm -hmm. so we try to provide that platform for them as well and to bring you the news of some upcoming uh, independent film writer that's out there that may be thinking about, hey, maybe I need to uh, connect to this. So it's always a connecting piece exactly. that we have on this show that we're going to bring to you out there. So what are some of the movies? Well, we're going to have a, we got a top five pick. Okay, let's get So to we're going to do the top five pick <laughs> of our films yes. that we felt that was our favorite. So now number five on the list was Forrest Gump. Oh yeah. That was that was a film that I think every yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What did he say? Uh, Life is like a box of chocolate. Oh my! That that yeah. that was a going save. Yeah. And I loved it uh, when um, Tom Hanks was in the film along with uh, Al Sally Fields. Both of those are uh, Academy actors. Award. Uh, just Academy Awards yes. uh, actors, so they, they they stole the show in the film. So that enough said with that. So we're going to take a look at that particular film when and let you enjoy what we thought was important. So we got a little clips here. So let's just take a look at that film. Hello, my name's Forrest Forrest Gump. Would you like a chocolate? Oh, thank you. It's funny what a young man recollects. You're the same as everybody else. You are no different. Your boy's different. Are you stupid or something? Mama says stupid is as stupid does. I'm Jenny. I'm Forrest Forrest Gump. She was my most special friend. My only friend. We was together all the time. We were like peas and carrots, Jenny and I. Run, Forrest! Hey, stupid! Run! You wouldn't believe it if I told you, but I can run like the wind blows. Who in the hell is that? That there is false Gump, Coach. Just a local idiot. I never thought it would take me anywhere. David put me on a thing called the All-America Team. Well, you get to meet the President of the United States. Congratulations. How does it feel to be an All-American? I gotta pay. I believe he said he had to go pee. Wonderful. Did Wonderful. you enjoy that? And you know what? And the thing, I, thing I would like to say about Forrest Gump is that you, you, you look at the film. She was a single mother, mm -hmm. and she had a son that was had some issues. Yes. But she poured out her heart to make sure that he was happy. Mm -hmm. You know, and Forrest Gump, you know, did a lot. So it says to me one thing: it talks about a single mom. Yes. How she did. She and was, the struggles, she was, that, and the she struggles that she was up against, but to she make it happen up. for her son. Yeah, so it was a exactly. great movie. I mean, I enjoyed Run, Run Forrest, Run, you know, yes. and all of that. I mean, she was, encouraged him in so many ways, and I, it just reminded me of what reality is today. So many single parents or parents in general encouraging their children when they have some struggles never to give up. Yeah. Never to give up. Just do the best that you can do. Be the best that you can be, and I think that's important. That is very important. So, what what is it? What is the next one? Well, now we go. We're just going to keep going yeah. here with yeah. all our film choices. So now the next one is the Blind Side. Oh, oh. Ooh, the Blind Side. Wow, Man. that was true story. True story. An awesome film. I want you to take a look at that. I'm gonna let you go, guys. Take a look at that film while we are going to talk about. Head yes. <laughs> I'm not cutting, I'm just asking. Let me tell you something, all right? We have been sitting around here for over an hour, and when I look around, all I see are people shooting the bull and drinking coffee. How can I help you? Oh, he was first. The, no, you go ahead. I think I want to hear this. Me too. You're right. Excuse me? You're right? How those words taste coming out of your mouth? Mike Vinegar. Who is that, SJ? Big Mike. He goes to high school here. What is he wearing? It's below freezing. Do you have any place to stay tonight? Don't you dare lie to me. Was this a bad idea? That's the big deal, it's just for one night. It is just for one night, right, Leanne? Tell me just one thing I should know about you. I don't like to be called Big Mike. Leanne, this is another one of your charities. I need to find out more about his past. Ah! He's been enrolled in seven different institutions. His grade point average begins with zero. He needs to do better in school. I'd love to work with him. This is mine? Yes, sir. Never had one before. What, a room to yourself? A bed. We are back, yes. 
I mean, that was that was great. I mean, you know, Michael Orr, you know, who, who was who was in with the bout, and Sandra Bullock was in. I think yes. when you look at that film, it was true. That's a that's a true film. They're here in Memphis, yes, it was. and they took him in, and they gave him an opportunity because where he came from, you know, he was talked down about, you know, and, and, that, and that's another thing. You know, the kids that go to school today, they, they have so much pressure on them. Yes. And then they don't fit in, and then they get talked about. Like, so they need somebody to build up there. And, and Encourage Yeah, build them up. Yes. And so she did that. They brought him in. Yes. And, hey, the rest is history. And I, and I love the fact that a, um, a, a family from a totally different background yes. took in a young man who they didn't know anything about. That shows courage first of all and it crossed racial boundaries that some people feel that it was taboo to do they did it and yeah, they, they didn't did. have any problem no with it at all and i love that uh sandra bullock i tell you oh, she's yeah. awesome in Top the film academy she and, won. that's just a wonderful job so i just commend her as well as all the actors in that film and that's why we loved it so much because it was a tearjerker yeah, i went from crying to laughing and then on so it was just wonderful. So. And let me just say, you know, uh, if, if you like what we are doing at the, at the end of this, when we get through with all of just let us know are those some of the top five that, that you see that are in your account, that you have at home, yeah. on your shelf that you can pull out. You know it's a lot of Christmas stuff, but you know, I mean, but these are some of the films. So what's the next one? Well, the sack of the third film, okay, uh, well we, we just did uh, Forrest Gump and that was the fifth one. We're okay. counting back backwards here. Okay. Number four was Blindside, okay. now we're going to number three okay. on our list and it was 12 Years oh. a Slave. That was awesome. I couldn't take my eyes off the, off the screen. I just really enjoyed myself. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know. It was, yes. a, it was a great film. It just shows you how he went from where he was, where there was no slavery, but somebody else took him into slavery and he came back out of it, you know, to his family. He was away from his family for a long time. But he was so determined. Yes. He was not letting what his situation is. That's why you can never judge a man by the moment exactly. or a situation. If you were in a situation, develop a strategy. Yeah. He he figured a strategy yes, uh, in order to get back to where he was. He was determined. Yes, I love that determination. He was determined no matter how the scars that he took. You know, mm -hmm. on his back, how they did him, and, and how they just betrayed him to yes. be. You know, and how he helped the other slaves. Oh, you know? it, it was really wonderful. You know, let's take a look at this clip. Let's take a look. Okay. I want to ask you what part of the country you come from. I originate from Canada. I guess where that is. Oh, I know where Canada is. I've been there myself. Well, travel for a slave. Solomon Northup is an expert player on the violin. I was born a free man, lived with my family in New York. Be good for your mother. Until the day I was deceived. To Solomon. Kidnapped, sold into slavery. Well, boy, how you feel now? My name is Solomon North. I'm a free man. And you have no right whatsoever to detain me. You're no free man. You're nothing but a Georgia runaway. We're down to the river Jordan. You're back. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Yes, that was, I mean, that. like I said, that's another uh, film that brought out all types of emotional feels to it. It just, it just took you there. It made you understand how vulnerable we are. Yes. and how our situation can change at the drop of the hat without even, it's out of our control. And he had no control of getting getting out of that situation, but he was determined. And that determination brought him out, and that was the key. Well, it lets you know also that no matter where you at, you have to be up on your toes. Yes, you know, because, watch your back. You know, because <laughs> sometimes, sometimes people wow. look at you in a situation and they judge you because of your situation. Mm -hmm. But it's God that puts you in that situation mm -hmm. to be who you are. Mm -hmm. And some people don't like that. Like they say favor ain't fair. But the favor that he was a, he was a composer yes. of music, yes. he, was, he was good. That Some people don't like what people you're doing. People was hating on him. Yeah, you know, you're going to have <laughs> haters like that. But you got to always kind of 
you know, watch Stay it back. Stay in line. Stay in line, watch it back. And so what he did, yeah, he slipped. We all have slipped. But you gotta learn from that. He learned from that. Mm -hmm. and, and the movie just took us all the way from to another place mm -hmm. and another time. And he and he, he came out of it. It was just, oh, it was just awesome, and we really enjoyed that. So we had to use that as one of our film oh, Yes, yes, I know. We couldn't miss that. So now we're going to continue uh, with our five film picks for our Christmas show. I so, it down on them. Yes, yes, yes. So now our second film pick uh, was Birth of the Nuts. Oh, oh, Nate God. Parker. I mean, <laughs> great. I want to commend young this man, young man. Young man. <laughs> I just I can't mean, help but clap my hands behind that. Great screamer, great <laughs> actor. You know, I mean, he has done a lot. You know, Denzel looked at him. I know Denzel put something in him because mm. when he played in The Great Debater, yes. you know, he did a heck of a job. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. I can't do nothing but just thumbs up to the young yes. brother. Yes, and that he went after movie. his dream. So he's a perfect example of our independent fin writers and ourselves out there going after our dreams, yes. knowing what we have inside of us. We have a story to tell. And yes. we don't, we're not going to stop until we do it. So he, even though he was an actor, and he was doing very good with that, it wasn't enough. He wanted, he had something more to give, yeah. and he did it. And, and he, he did it. And he did it very first, well. Yeah. First show, and it, it was just awesome. Got great reviews. I, I think, you know, uh, when, when Nate was thinking about it, he wanted to make sure, bring out, it really was about, I'm trying to think of uh, who it was really, it was about Nat Turner. Yes, That's what it Nat really Turner, was about. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know, because mm -hmm. and, and the revolution that Ned Turner did, yes. you know, to try to bring it because it's back in slavery to bring them out. So it was a great movie. The young man did a great job. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just is. just awesome. I give it like I said, I give it thumbs up. Oh yeah. Thumbs, thumbs up. Thumbs up on uh, at that night. Congratulations for a job well done. Job well done. Even though he struggled because so many people was against him on that. He tried to bring up some things that could well to hinder him. Yeah. But he didn't. He he well, let's say high step. Yeah, you're going to have, <laughs> have that. Because <laughs> everybody is not going to sit up here and speak goodwill of you. So you not gotta be all. able to take the good with the bad. You know, so but but you have to follow your dream. You know, oh, yes. whatever God placed inside of you, that is for you. Never give up. And, and you feel like to you that that is something dear to your heart, and you want to. I mean, do it. You know, do it. Do it. It's your road to follow. Yeah. That's your path. Sometimes someone else may not understand the path that God has given you, and the path that you have got embraced in your heart. Yes. But you do. So follow it. Yes. Okay. Probably, probably. Okay. Uh -oh. yes. Wind so, it down. So well, start. Well, let's 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 take a look at it first. Oh, yes, we right. talked so much we were yeah. excited about Just that excited. particular film. So, uh, we want to take a look at it. So let's take a look at a clip from that film. You a child of God. You got purpose. The law put it there and nobody can take it away. These books are for white folks. They're full of things your kind wouldn't understand. You're special boy, Nathaniel. Study hard here. Your slaves sure do know how to behave. Well, they got them. One of them's a preacher. People might pay good money to have them calm down a bit, especially by one of their own. I lead you to Peter 218. Submit yourselves to your masters not only to those who are good and considerate, but also to those who are harsh. I'm that. What you think you're doing, boy? I asked you a question. You're done preaching for a little while. You learned your lesson, boy? Oh, yes. I've learned. To watch a strong man broken down. It's a terrible thing. The Lord's spoken to me. Visions of what's to come. A rise of good against evil. What are we gonna do? We'll fight. But once it begins, our brothers and sisters will join. And we'll number in the hundreds, thousands even. And we'll rise up. I like the waves. We'll rise up. You fight. Of the ape, we'll rise up. You fight. Pray you sing a new song. Let the high plains of God be on the mouths 
of the saints and a two-edged sword in their hands to execute vengeance on the demonic nations. Sing to him a new song. something you're waiting on us we will rise we're back okay you see why that was such a one for our second film thing yes i know a second film i mean it was just like we said nate park i mean it was great did an awesome mm -hmm. job an awesome job so <laughs> Rundown, you know, just give us what a we've done so far. Okay, well, let's see our five countdown. We've had uh, number five was Forrest Gump, right? Okay, run, Forrest, run. <laughs> the number four was Blindside, yes. Okay, uh, number three was 12 Years a Slave, okay. All right, and then number two, which we just got the viewing, was Birth of a Nation. So all four of those was awesome. So you know our number one's gonna be just really good. So I'm gonna give it an <laughs> intro. Da, 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 da. All right. So now that was a good intro, Mom. Okay. You, you know, don't quit your day job, okay? Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so let's go right to it. The number one film pick of Eminem Film Talk is Pursuit of Happiness. It's all. Oh my God. Will Smith. It is something. <laughs> Real. Yes, uh, and, and, and you can tell yeah. that the emotional ties they had as father and son bled off into the role itself. I mean, it was just such a tearjerker. Yes, it was. I kind of cried all the way through the film. If you're talking about a determination <laughs> of someone, wow. that's, I mean, you know, someone on, I mean, hey, on the all streets. Odds. But took his son up under his wing, took him with him, made sure, I mean, did everything possible to do. Mm -hmm. For his son, but he still stayed on his path, no matter no what. No matter what, and he kept the it. The doors kept being closed, closed. Open, but he oh kept going. God. I mean, how many of us out there could have done some of the things that he did, and uh, and just and without taking running away from the situation because it, it that was so hard. That was a very hard thing to do. Very hard we want to say that we would do it. We would love to say that. Yes, we would do it. I know a lot of us would say that, and, and some of us can do it. Exactly. You know, exactly. and some of us can do it because... And I pray I wouldn't be able to do something like that. Of the, because of the determination. See, God give each and every one of us that kind of determination. Yes. But we have to make sure that we pursue it and do what exactly that God has placed inside of us. So, with that determination, it was a God thing all the way. Because you're talking about sleeping in places yes. like what he had to go through yes. and do that. He okay. didn't stop. And it just took that one person to give him a chance. Mm -hmm. See, never stop going for the prize exactly. because God has someone out there that's going to say yes where you have 50 doors may be closed mm -hmm. but that 151 may be the exactly one that yes. you need if you push on that door yes. and, and God will oh that's you know he will let you in so yes. let's just keep our determination God did not give us the spirit of fear sure. hey. we know that God has given us power so we, we, I mean, we're going we're not gonna preach up in here, but hey, well, it's hey, the truth. But it's the truth. A great movie. <laughs> yes. You know, just let us know if those are those some of the top picks that you feel like that is something that you thought that was great as well as like it was done. Yeah. Great email for us. us and let us know what film that you think is good, and yes. we can add it to our pick of the week. We're gonna do uh, five film picks every week. Like I said at the beginning, we were going to be doing three things a week rather than just that one two shows maybe three and we will be yeah. doing a five film pick every week also let's just look at this film i'm just going to show you the clip of yes. pursuit of happiness pursuit of happiness I met my father for the first time when I was 28 years old. When I had children, my children were going to know who their father was. Yeah. Chris Gardner was doing his best. We don't need two. We don't need one. Maybe next quarter. It's possible. But his best hey! Wait! wasn't enough. Man, I got two questions for you. What do you do and how do you do it? I'm a stockbroker. Stockbroker. Oh. 
Hey, I'm gonna let you hang on to my car for the weekend, but I need it back for Monday. Feed the meter. <laughs> I need the rent. I can't wait anymore. I need you out of here in the morning. You gotta trust me, all right? I trust you. Because I'm getting a better job. Ooh, yeah. Let me see if I can find you an application for our internship. Yeah. Did mom leave because of me? Mom left because of mom, and you didn't have anything to do with that. There's no salary. No. I was not aware of that. My circumstances have changed some. Dad, where are we going? I don't know. Last year, we had an intern score on 90% on the written exam. He wasn't chosen. It's not a simple pass-fail. You're not quitting on us yet, are you? Don't ever let somebody tell you you can't do something. Yeah. Not even me. All right? All right. Jay says you're pretty determined. Where are you going? Go to the hospital! I'm in a competitive internship at Dean Witter. He said you're smart. This thing's impossible. I can do it. No, you can't. No one can. That is wrong. You got a dream, you got to protect it. People can't do something themselves. They want to tell you you can't do it. You want something, go get it. Period. I enjoyed it. That was awesome film. So I, we're, we're uh, just totally emotional at this point with all these great films. So, and, and um, we want to share other things with you guys. Uh, in 2020, we're going to have an open opportunity for great film writers out there, independent film writers who are interested in, in being a part of our show. All you have to do is email us at mnmfilmtalk at gmail.com. We will email you back, giving you information about what you need to be one of our uh, participants on our show, as well as be, have your film featured on our show as well. So yes. we want to give you that opportunity in the year to come, okay? Yeah, and I see, you know, great things with Eminem Film Talk. I think in 2020, God is just going to take this thing out to just all around the world, I'm saying. I'm mm -hmm. speaking it right now in the atmosphere. Yeah. Because I think this is a great platform that mm -hmm. me and my wife are doing. I think it's open, you know, for, for sponsors as well that they want to. Yes, you can We have some great us. sponsors. Well, that's what they want to do and yeah. to try to bring out a great film or a play. Yes. So if you just want to be on the show, like my wife said, just hit us up. We'll get back in touch with you, have you on the show. And all our information is at the bottom, the bottom of, of the screen. screen. You've yeah. seen it run throughout the whole show. So actually take a pen and paper and note down some of that information. Yeah. So you can actually tune in more by going to our YouTube channel at Eminem Film Talk online. Or you can email us at Eminem Film Talk at gmail.com right those the are, screen. that's right at the bottom of the screen please subscribe to our page view our shows and like us on facebook at eminem film talk we would love to have you on our show we have some special offers that we do have for you what we're going to do before the show is ended i know i had a great time i know you have and i know you all have too so what we're going to do we got a special offer that we, we we're going to do uh we got two movies that we have done Got two movies that we have, and uh, just imagine your face, the Diamond Maker. Two movies for ten dollars. I mean, it'd be a great, two great movies. Or that, that you can have. just add to your actual collection, collection of films. Um, those two things, those are inspirational films. You would enjoy it. Um, like some of the films that we had, uh, we just featured, all uh, inspirational, motivational films. Yes. So, therefore, those two films are too. We would love you guys to to have uh, those two in your collection and they are only ten dollars and that's all you need to do two is for ten dollars two for ten dollars and you can actually email us at Eminem Film Talk if you're interested in the film you will see uh, also that particular offer on our Facebook page as well and you can click and purchase the actual film from that Facebook page if you would like to do it and we will get that order out to you just got so many great things that's in store like I said uh, hit us up let us know, give us you know, a shout out, your comments, how you feel about the show. Just hit us up. I, I, you know what, I want to say I, again, I thank 
Um, All of the participants who was on this show. Yes, we've I mean, had some great people who've been man. on our show to help us kick off the show. Um, we, I want to say Christy Taylor, we had Jason, uh, Farmer. Jason Farmer um, from Blacklands. Uh, so, and also Christy Taylor, screen polisher, awesome, wonderful lady, um, as well as we Ryan. have Ryan Watts yeah. from Indie Film. The director of Indie Film. Yes, yes. Yeah. and we got so many wonderful people who are going to be on the show. So we just got more to come. That's already at least. We don't want to give out too much. You can't give out yeah. everything, but yeah. but you we'll kick off the new year with a brand new show. So we definitely want you to uh, enjoy the show, share this show with your friends, and yeah. also email us with your comments or your concern or what you may want to see on the show. What what us to bring forward to you? Yeah. We're looking forward to hearing from you. And we hope that y'all have enjoyed the show. I know I have, like I said, mm -hmm. and I think that uh, it's going to be new things for me and my wife coming in the upcoming year. We've got some new things that we're going to be doing that I think uh, that you all are going to enjoy. So in the meantime, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Yes. And don't, we'll see you next time on Eminem Film Talk, where we talk to real people and family. Merry Christmas.